Hi, this is Tara McGillicuddy, adult ADHD productivity coach, host of ADHD Support Talk Radio, and founder and director of ADDclasses.com. And today I am coming to you with another combo YouTube video and podcast episode. And today I'm talking about information overload in adult ADHD. And specifically, I'm going to talk a lot about information overload when it comes to ADHD information, ADHD information, tools, management, classes. A lot of times, especially when people first either get diagnosed with adult ADHD or they self-diagnose, self-identify with ADHD, they get online and start trying to find all the information they can. And there is a lot of information out there when it comes to adult ADHD. And the crazy thing is going back about 20 years ago when I was first diagnosed, there was very little online about ADHD. There was very little online back in 1996 to begin with, but there was very little when it came to adult ADHD or even women with ADHD. So there weren't a lot of choices, which... You know, there wasn't a lot of support out there. Now, there is a ton of support. There are a ton of resources. And it can be extremely overwhelming. Not only that, a lot of times, those of us with ADHD, and if you're just beginning to realize you have ADHD, you're probably not managing your ADHD in your life as well as somebody who found out, say, five years ago. So that hyper focus can really get in the way where you get online, you start researching time management, organization, or the best medication, the best coach, whatever it is. Next thing you know, it's like three hours later and you missed a phone call, you missed an appointment. You just feel crappy because you've been sitting at your computer for three hours straight. So it's really important to be mindful that it can be extremely overwhelming and it may not be that productive to absorb all this information, to get all this data. Um, what I found over the years, a lot of times when people first find out they have ADHD, they get so overwhelmed they start taking all the classes. So they have this ADHD information library, whether it's physical, like clutter in their house or on the computer, but they, they don't even start with one thing, but they have tons of information, tons of resources. And what prompted me to do this video in this podcast is um, over the weekend, I was on one of the Facebook, Facebook um, ADHD support groups, and a woman wrote in about how she had ADHD information overload. She says she spends every day trying to figure out the best things she can do for ADHD, trying to learn more about her ADHD. And she was just exhausted, overwhelmed, burnt out. And my response to her was to just stop you know, looking for ADHD information, stop it for a day or two or however long, go out and do something fun, go out and enjoy yourself. Um, and I know I'm talking about this when it comes to ADHD information, but this can be said for anything else because a lot of times we might be passionate about something, learn about something new that's totally not related to ADHD and we can do the same thing. We can be information sponges. And, you know, say we, we want to buy a new car. <laughs> And I've had clients that have done this. They'll spend three months researching the best car. They'll have paperwork. They'll have spreadsheets. They'll have this. They'll have that. And three months, they haven't bought a car. And the reason they started researching about this is because they really needed a car. It wasn't just like it was a luxury. and It was important for them to, to buy a car. So, I mean, think about it. When you're managing your ADHD, what is it you're trying to accomplish? What do you want to improve in your life? Do, do you want to get places on time? Do you want less stress in your life? And maybe start out with one or two specific goals, or maybe even just one to start. And how can you take actionable steps? And, you know, maybe reading one or two books, taking one or two classes might be an, you know, an actionable step. But there are so many books out there. There's so many resources out there, which can be great. But set limits, have boundaries, have limits. Like maybe you're brand new to this ADHD or whatever it is. Maybe you brand, maybe you just came up with the idea that you want to buy a car. Maybe you're going to build a house. Maybe you just decided to start your own garden. Whatever it is, have a set limit that maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays for an hour you spend time online researching it or wherever it is. Maybe it's every day. I, mean, I think it depends on your own circumstances, what's going on in your own life, but have a limit. 
And that's not to say, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you, you can't spend two hours instead of one hour. If you go over a little bit, that's fine. But have something to work with. Have a set time frame to work around. And when it comes to ADHD, yes, there are lots of support. There's lots of support out there, lots of help. And you do need some trial and error, which, you know, what's the best book? What's the best, best time management strategy? What's the best planner? It, that takes trial and error, um, trying different things out. So it's, it's finding that, that balance. What are the right amount of resources for you to look at? What, what's the right amount of actionable steps? And there are great resources out there. I know I speak at a few different telesummits and events each year, and they have upsells for the telesummits. And I, I just spoke at a woman's one back in January or February, and I think there were 36 different sessions. And, that, and you know, it's a great package to buy. But you don't have to listen to all 36 sessions in one sitting. Um, spread it out over a, a while. And maybe this might be something to think about is working with an ADHD coach. Um, yes, it's an investment in, the, in an ADHD coach. But if you just spent like 300 hours and God knows how much money and energy putting into research and being overwhelmed by ADHD, maybe working with a one-on-one -on -one ADHD coach could help you. So I just want to talk a bit today, or I talked a bit today about the information overload. And I think also just take a few deep breaths before you get on the computer, before you start researching whatever it is on your phone, on your computer, on your tablet, and put out the intention. What is it you're intending to do? Because you can be aimlessly on websites, and next thing you know, you're on it for six hours, and you maybe didn't accomplish anything. Um, and just get up from the computer, get up from the phone, take a walk. Um, and like I started saying at the beginning, like I recommended to this woman on the Facebook group, is go out and have fun. Practice self-care, but take a, take a break from the ADHD information. There's a lot of it out there. Um, but yeah, take the break and have the limits. And there is support, there is help. We have an awesome ADHD community, AD, uh, adult ADHD community. There's organizations, there's coaches, there's support groups, organizers. There are great resources out there, but, but just one at a time. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm the founder and director of eddclasses.com and we offer support programs. A few years back, we're offering more support programs than we did. I remember there was this one person who signed up for all the programs in one day. And I'm like, oh, what is she doing? You know, she's, it's, it's great. I'm getting some money for her programs, but all at once, I don't know what she's doing. And then I remember like a few months later, she contacted us and she was contacted us and she's like, I just signed up for all of them and I didn't take any of them. So one at a time, that, oh, that's also the thing. There's great programs online. There's to learn about how to get organized, to learn about time management. There's coaching groups. I would really recommend doing one at a time. And when that's done, if it's like a um, time-based group, like a six-week group, then maybe join a coaching support group or an online group. But, but maybe one at a time, depending on the commitment, maybe two, but don't, don't do five ADHD programs at a time because what also will happen, and as someone who provides ADHD support, people will get confused about which program they're in. We have the ADD boot camp starting up later this week, and Somebody's, I don't know who it was, somebody started an ADHD program the week before ours, and we had two or three people contacting us all upset because we hadn't sent them the call in information how to access the program for last Thursday. The program doesn't start till this Thursday. So when you're not, when, when you're brand new to ADHD and maybe you're not mindful yet, and maybe you half pay attention to your emails, you can get overwhelmed. So one program at a time, have a set amount, maybe it's a couple days a week. For an hour or two a day, if that, maybe a couple hours a week that you designate to your ADHD information. You don't want to be overloaded. There's great support there. So thank you so much for watching this video and listening to my podcast. And if you're watching the video, you can learn more about the podcast at ADHDsupporttalk.com. If you're listening to the podcast, you can go to youtube.com slash living with ADD to sub subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. And if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe, share it, like it, comment on it. Let me know how has ADHD information overload affected your life? Have you been impacted by it? Whether it's ADHD specific information or if it's, if it's been something you've been passionate about. Have you been overloaded by all the information out there? 
Thanks again. This is Tara McGillicuddy. Have a great day or night.